Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chalvan, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Thirichamudu. Today we discuss about the topic, Principles of Marketing. The first topic for Marketing Fix. It is an important concept of marketing management. The main aim of every business is to earn profit and earn maximize its profit. For doing so we can concentrate on four factors. That is first one is for product, next one is for place, then promotion and price. This is also known as the marketing mix. These are also known as four pieces of marketing mix. Then next we discuss about product mix decision. Here the product mix means product assortment. A product is a set of all product line and items that a particular seller offer for sale to buyer. There are four concepts. First one is for width, next one is for length, then third one is for depth, then fourth one is for consistency. Then next we discuss about product life cycle. There are four stages of product life cycle. The first one is for introduction, the next one is for growth, third one is for maturity, then fourth one is for decline. Here in the introduction stage, the low cost is there, then cost or high cost of per customers, then financial losses, innovative customers, the few competition is appear. The next stage is for growth stage. In this stage, the sales are in increase, customer cost for customer is false, profit also rise, increase the number of customers, then more competitor is there. Next one is for maturity stage. Here the sales are in peak, the cost of cost per customer lowest, profit high, mass market, then stable number of competitors. Then next one is for decline stage. Here the sales are in false, the cost per customer low, profit also fall, customers base contract, number of competitors also fall. Then next we discuss about branding. It is a word commonly used in marketing professionally but what is actual meaning according to the marketing expert brand is defined as the terms of name sign symbol design or combination of them indeed to identify a company product or services the brand communicate the idea of a company or product form a connection with the customers then next we discuss about Price and pricing. The price means the amount of money for which something is buy or sell. Here the pricing means it is a method of determining the value a producer will get in the exchange of goods and services. Then next we discuss about pricing objectives. Here the three main objectives there. First one is for profit oriented. Next one is for sales oriented. Then third one is for status quo oriented. Here the profit oriented, again we have classified into two. The first one is for target return. The next one is for maximize the profit. Here the sales oriented can be classified into two. One is for unit sale growth. The next one is for growth in market share. Then third point status quo oriented can be defined into two. One is for meeting competition, the next one is for non-price competition. The here, the channel of distribution is there. The first one channel means the producer send the goods to consumer. Here the channel number two will be discussed about producer send the goods to retailer, then retailer can send the goods to consumer. Then next we discuss about channel number three, the producer can send the goods to wholesaler, then wholesaler send the goods to retailer, then retailer send the goods to consumer. The fourth channel means producer directly send the goods to agent, then agent send the goods to wholesaler, then wholesaler to retailer, then consumer. Then next we discuss about certain role of advertisement. There are four role of advertisement. First one is for marketing role, then next one is for communication role, then third one is for economics role, then fourth one is for societal role. Thank you for watching this video.